It's no use. There's nothing we can do here. Hmm? What do you mean? Look at this. His artificial blood needs dialysis. We don't have the proper equipment. Dialysis? Getting his wounds healed is important too. But at this rate, he's not gonna last that long. Dialysis? Is that like what kidneys do? That's right. Raiden's blood is an older type of artificial blood that was used by the military, called white blood. After it's been in use for a while, the blood needs to be dialyzed, filtered. Right now, he's slipping into autotoxemia. What do you mean? Eastern Europe. They have equipment that can heal me there. Where? The same place Liquid went? <laughs> Dr. Magnar. He saved my life. Dr. Madnar. I've heard of him. A world-renowned cybernetics expert. Strictly underground, though. We're in luck, then. It's settled. We must head for Europe. The sooner we get there, the better. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I'll call Campbell and have him get us landing clearance. Oh, a snake! Where are you going? Uh, I'm gonna be spewing out poison soon enough anyway. What's one more smoke gonna hurt? Uh-uh. This is a no-smoking flight. Who is this? Oh, her? That's my sister. I never knew you had a sister. For a moment, I thought she might have been your girlfriend. No, I... I don't have a... I... Emma was a brilliant programmer. She wrote the worm that destroyed the Arsenal Gear AI. 
Then, Vamp killed her. I'm so sorry. No, there's nothing for you to be sorry for. Or me. <laughs> I used to be an anime otaku. Oh. So, that's where Otacon comes from. I was always fascinated by sci-fi anime. That's what got me into this line of work. It's too bad reality wasn't so simple. I never even imagined that science, that my own research, could cause so much misery. I mean, it's not like a science holics or Satanists or anything. But even when we've got the best of intentions, we end up being used by others for evil. Uh, oh, Dr. Emmerich, I... Uh, you see this? Sunny helped me build it. <laughs> really? Sunny helped build this? We built it using top secret docs and patents dug up from intranets at a bunch of research labs. To tell you the truth, I think she's better at it than I am. But she's just a child. She cracked the protection on your mail. Well, I um, assumed it was you. <laughs> Sunny was taken by the Patriots right after she was born. She never even met her parents. She spent her entire childhood inside the net. That's why she has trouble speaking. Her home is in the computer. She can only see the outside from the inside. She's always in there, searching for herself, searching for her family. She's trying to find out who she is and where she's going. Searching for herself and her family. She believes she can find the answers inside a machine hooked up to the world. She spends every day inside the net, exploring. For Sunny, this is home. No, it shouldn't be like that. What? It's time you let her go outside. What are you talking about? She hasn't even been born yet. She's still in the womb. She needs to live a real life. But Sonny's never shown any interest in leaving the Nomad. Frankly, I'm worried about letting her go out there. I have a feeling she'll do just fine. You really think she'll be okay going outside? That's not what I meant. I think she's got a good handle on her science. Ah. Uh, sorry. Go on. Huh? You were about to say something. Oh. Uh, right. Um, would you mind if I helped Sunny with her cooking? Oh, of course not. Go ahead. <laughs> but, uh, about all we've got on board besides military rations are eggs. No. Leave them off. It makes you look handsome. <laughs> you think so?